Hello. We are at the Randall Doll Autobahn Center here in Santa Fe, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, it was only a 10 minute drive from downtown, which is shocking. Here we are yep. in the wilderness. <laughs> We've already seen quite a few hummingbirds. So obviously it's the Autobahn Center. So there's going to be tons and tons of birds. We have a little map. It's what, a one mile hike, she said? Yeah, three quarter of a mile. Oh, she's not even a mile. We're here later than we thought we'd be. <laughs> we thought we'd be here right as I opened at eight o'clock. And what is it, 10 something now? Yeah, something, 10.30. <laughs> 10.30. Anywho, we kind of brought everything. Uh, but we got our big lenses down here and I really want to see hummingbirds, obviously. What else? I have no idea what we're going to no see idea. here. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they had a board of all the birds that have been sighted recently, and Ooh. there's a lot of birds on there. Oh yeah. So I don't know if they just need to be here early in the morning or late in the evening or. Yeah, it's know. only open eight to four, so we were going to come up last night in the evening light. They were already closed, <laughs> so yeah. Let's uh, mm -hmm. let's go see what we can see. Yep. All right. right at the front entrance of the building where hummingbird feeders and hummingbirds zipping by our heads. But we could not resist taking this gorgeous walk in a secluded forest area just outside of town. We are about halfway through our big road trip. There's a few other videos here you can watch on our Colorado to New Mexico uh, playlist. And we had designated Santa Fe as kind of a resting stop, but after about two days, we had to get out. And what's interesting is Steve and I talked about it later, and we both have about a one and a half day downtime threshold. We can't really just wander around shops and sit around a hotel for longer than a day and a half. So this was a perfect opportunity to take a leisurely stroll through a local Autobahn Center forest. As became my habit on these days, I packed way, way too much gear. My backpack was just full of gear and I had the big uh, A92 with the 200 to 600 millimeter lens on and Steve had his whole bag of gear too. Uh, if you wanna know all the gear we brought on this uh, eight day road trip, we do have a video coming up with that, that we're gonna show everything, all of our camera gear that's in those bags and what we used and what we didn't use. Steve and I both really appreciated that this was a fairly short and not very steep hike at all. And we could really take our time and we stopped often just to listen often we could hear a bird and we'd stay in one spot for 10 or 15 minutes just trying to see it flit across the valley or up into a tree it was really a great time to slow down often we find we're we're here we're here, there we're everywhere we don't want to miss a shot this was a perfect opportunity to slow down and really stop and listen Not a lot of bird activity. We can hear them, but it's really peaceful. And there's a lot of benches like this to sit and rest. Do you hear that bird? And observe. Do you hear that?
having spent the last two days in town around people and shopping and restaurants, it was nice to have this quiet solitude. There we saw maybe two sets of people this whole time we were out here. Very peaceful. Steve also mentioned he appreciated the idea that we could see these birds in the wild in their natural habitat. Extra bonus. Did you see more? So I just saw the shadow. We spotted a bird way up in this tree, but with all of the branches, it was super hard to photograph. Okay, well, we've wandered around for a couple of hours on just like a mile and a half of the trail. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. And at least a couple of good shots, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so. Now we're gonna go look at the uh, hummingbirds. Yeah. Back down at the Audubon Center entrance, they have planted a beautiful garden and walkway, specially meant to entice all of the local birds. Of course, I was on the lookout for hummingbirds, which I did for quite a while in here, but they also had some feeders for other types of birds that we could observe. As you know, hummingbirds are extremely fast, so these few clips that I have of them are slowed down to 50% so you can actually see the little bird. And there was a bunch of these. This was a pretty low angle, but from where I was standing, they were just flitting everywhere, everywhere, which is really exciting. After hanging out in that garden area for a while, we explored a little farther and we found this cool little bubbler water for the birds. And so I had to set up my GoPro on the little post next to it to see uh, if I can record anyone flying in. Hummingbirds are so fast, you have to be careful which shutter speed you choose. The photos I took at the bubbler were at one two thousandth of a second, and the wings are still a little bit blurry. When I was in the garden area, they were at one sixty four hundredth of a second, and then I could freeze the action of the wings. So what shutter speed you use depends on the look that you're going for. But keep in mind, it must be much, much higher for hummingbirds if you really want to freeze that action. Hope you enjoyed this Audubon nature walk with us today. Yeah? Yes. Okay. 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 Bye. Bye. See ya.